Hi you guys, welcome to Elena for Crafts. So, I hope everyone's having a, a wonderful day or a wonderful night. Um, I wanted to show you some flowers that I did and um, I got my glue gun already going already and um, I wanted to share what I did with that and I noticed that I've been using up my glue sticks <laughs> I use the ones from Dollar Tree so um, I think I got a few more packs left so um, yeah I'll need to get those out but I wanted to uh, share the flowers with you and um, as you see my book right here that I shared with you guys last time what I did and I also did this binder clip let me see if you can see that I did this binder clip I did this one on Periscope and I added a bow right there and I added some ribbon and I used the um, the binder clips I think those were from Target or um, from Daiso I think they were from yeah they were from Daiso those are the ones that I did and let me uh, take this one out so I can show you guys so as you can see here I added the bow I added some um, ribbon and all the ribbon is from um, Joann's and then this right here is from Dollar Tree so this is what let me just cut this ribbon sometimes these kind of ribbon um, um, the thread comes out sometimes so I just need to just trim one of them right now well actually three of them which I did right now and these were really easy to make um, and actually really fun and um yeah so let me show you what i did and then i added that little bow on there and that's the big um big uh clips oh let me i have another one here so this is what it looked like before you remember that ribbon tape that I got from um, not ribbon tape uh, the glitter tape from Daiso that's what I used on that so and then this is what it looks like after so I wanted to make one for my junk journal here and that's what I did and I just love how it came out so um yeah i love how that came out and the bows that i used i used the puncher that i have from joann's and then they look like this and you just put them together so what i did i get like some shiny paper kind of like that goes with the theme that i'm doing and i just cut a bunch of them i mean punch them and then put them together but I ran out because I used them all so now I gotta put these together so um, yeah and then I'll have to make some more but I love 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 how um, this one came out I really love how it came out look at that so cute okay so the flowers that I wanted to show you that I did um let me get this out of the way and so i did some of these flowers i used the punch and it's kind of like an older punch that i got from joann's 
like I don't know so long ago no you know what I think it's from Michaels yeah from Michaels and I use some of my um, flowers that I have um, I use those and like some of these but the bigger ones that's what I used so let me um, show you um, the flowers that I did okay so the first one that I did is this one so I just added the back and um, punched the back and I cut up some of the pieces like because they're supposed to be like um i wonder if i have that no i don't think i have that the way it looks let me get it and i'll be right back okay so it looks like this so i punched out a bunch of these and then i cut right here in between and then I just um, fold them in between and use my twiz tweezers. <laughs> I can't even talk, you guys. Tweezers to fold them. Kind of like pinch them, kind of, in a way. So these are the ones that I use to make them into this. So I did this one this one right here and I just added a flower in the inside I did this one so I did the outside and all I did was um, use Michael's flowers that I had got in a grab bag from Michael's and they were all like fall color flowers so that's what I'm using so I did that one and then I added this one but this one is kind of like a copper shiny paper and I added a flower and the banner and then I did the same with this one now I have some other ones but I have those put away but you more or less know what they look like right here and um so I am going to show you what I'm going to do with these flowers. And um, let me make sure that you're not going to fall here. And I'm going to grab some ribbon right here. Um, let's see. I love, 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 love this ribbon that I got from Joanne's and it's this one the ones that i showed you from my haul i'm gonna use that one and um let's see and where's that other one and maybe this one with the leaves and one more. We'll see if we can use this one too. We'll see how it comes out. And I had one already, but I had added in a um, another package that I sent out. So I'm going to show you um, what I did. Okay. Well, I don't have it so I can show you guys but just cut like a couple of um, of ribbon that you would like to add with your flower and so that's what I'm doing right now and I will show you exactly what I'm going to do this is really fun to make and easy and they are great to add on cards um, gifts even gifts um, happy mail um, even like um, all kinds of things you guys that you can add these on I think there are great embellishment that you can add on anything 
Okay, and all right. So I cut these all the same here. And then all you're going to do is fold them like that. And you know where I'm going with this, right? So let's go ahead and use this one. And you're just going to glue them underneath. And you see how nice that looks? I mean, you can't tell me that's not going to look nice, right? So all you do is grab all your ribbon fold them like this and then glue them all together like this well not together but individually first before you add them on your um, your embellishment that's how I do them but if you do them a different way that is fine too so so this is what I'm doing here and then I'm pretty much going to glue these ones, see this one, with these on here. Just because um, these ones are really thin and uh, it's really easy for the glue to go right through. So that's why I have this handy glue friend of mine. So, and it's a great way to cover this right here. So, so that's the first one. And I am going to keep going until and then if you want to trim them you can trim them um at the end once you're um almost done so i just love making these these are so fun to make and you can use even your leftover scraps that I'm sure you have a lot of leftover scraps. So it is going to go like that. And then you're going to add them all together on the back. And that's how they're going to look. And then you can trim at the end. You know, once you got it all together, you just got to figure out how you want it. And then you can add other colors if you got other colors that you want to add. I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, it's just kind of hard to show you guys at the same time without burning my finger and um all that so but i will show you guys because i know you guys are probably like okay i can't see okay like that okay so now um so I'm just going to glue that together. So all I did was just glue those two together. And then you're going to add the glue on here. Right there. I add a big chunk just because <laughs> it's just easier that way for me. And you'll see what I mean. So I'm just holding it for a couple seconds. And then um, that is the first one that I did. So I am going to trim. And I usually use these scissors to trim my ribbons. It just makes it so easier to do it. 
and let's see. Okay, I'm still trimming, you guys. Feel like these are getting like a haircut or something. Okay, we're almost done, you guys. So, just hold on a minute. I thought I had like other um, fall colors that I got last year, but I guess not. I thought I did. Okay, so that's how that came out. Look at that. And then if you want, you can add something to cover the back, like a little circle if you want, which that. I will, um, I don't know, depends. I might do that. Um, if I want to add them on something, you don't need to. Because that will be like glued on something. So like if you want to add it on the card, which um, I don't have a card in front of me. But let me just, or even on the bag. You know how you use like the little bags and you want to send goodies. So look at that. How cute would that look? Look at how cute that is, right? So I love how that came out. I just really love how that came out. So use up your, um, your ribbon for that. That is awesome to do because I really love how this came out. So, yeah, you guys. So, I wanted to come and share that with you guys. I do have... Remember when I said that I was going to come back and share a special project that you can use for your dining room area or, you know, for any celebration that you're going to have, especially the holidays are coming and all that. So I'm going to be sharing that and um, so I'll be sharing that real soon with you guys. Um, I just uh, finished the last part and so it is complete already. I saved the other part so I can show you how I did it. So I will be coming back with that and um, I'm excited to share with you guys. I'm so excited. So, uh, make sure you um, are subscribed and you hit that bell so you get notification when I upload that video, okay? Okay, you guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. And um, if you would like to leave a comment... And thank you for coming by and um, stopping on by. And um, thank you for your support and everything. So I will be back soon, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. And this um, kind of like inspired you to make flowers or even thought, oh, I should add some ribbons or something like that. Because I really love how that came out. Yes, I really do. I actually, let me show you one more that I did. Um, I actually did this one too. And I even forgot to show you. So, um, I'm going to show you it right now. So, this is the smaller one that I did. And I added a little bow. And then I added some ribbon around it. As you can see. And I made this one for my TN that I'm using, which I love and it's getting really chunky. So yeah, I love this. So I'm, I have this on my TN. 
So I just took it off because I wanted to show you guys. And another thing that I wanted to share with you guys. Let me see. Okay. Is that I have this book that I added. It's a little smaller. But I thought it was so cute that I got from Daiso. And I wanted to add that in there. So, yeah. So, thank you guys for stopping by. I will be coming on back to share that project with you. Okay, so, um, if you'd like to leave a comment, please do so. And I will talk to you soon. Bye, you guys.